Welcome back friends. In this short video we will be talking about the competition among species. It's a part of environmental videos and ecology videos of uh, CSI NET series. Now uh, in this case, uh, so what kind of competition we can find between species, between populations and communities. Now we can divide this uh, type of uh, competition between species in many different ways. One way to divide them is uh, the process or the way called the competition between uh, same type of species or between different type of species okay so so I can write it like that same between same species or between different species if the competition is between same type of species then it is termed as intraspecific intraspecific competition and if this competition is between different species or members of different species, then it will be called as interspecific competition. Okay, so intraspecific means between the same species, interspecific means between different species. Okay. So that's what uh, if I think about where the species competition is going on. For example, now if we take the intraspecific competition or the competition between same species, now what we can find? The intraspecies competition, not specific actually, intraspecies or interspecies. So must like interspecies, C I E S, or interspecies, whatever. Okay, so in interspecies competition, uh, Let's say intraspecies competition. What we get is let's say two plants, two plants of the same species. So same, uh, two of the plants are mango, mango plants or mango trees. Let's say they are planted there. And they're growing now as they're growing side by side in the same area, in the same region. They will compete for uh, the nutrients from the soil. They will compete for the sunlight. So due to this competition for the resources like food like sunlight or like energy so as for this result there will be a competition between them right now in any kind competition always results in those cases where there is a common sharing between two individuals otherwise there wouldn't be any competition if a uh, species a is depending upon water species b is depending upon the species B is not at all depending upon water then there will be no competition between them now if there is a simple common sharing event between them then only there will be competition for example in this case same tree mango tree we planted but what we get we get that there is a difference there is uh, this common sharing of soil nutrients common sharing of water common sharing of sunlight so for that reason there can be competition and that kind of competition will be termed as intraspecific competition now in case of interspecific competition let's say the example is cheetah and lion okay now cheetah and lion both depends upon the same type or same type of prey okay so when so let's say as they are feeding on same type of prey if the prey is getting deep if the cheetah hunts more Cheetah take more food, lion will get less. If lion get more, cheetah will get less. So due to a common food source, there can be competition between cheetah and lion. Though the competition is indirect. As you can see, here the competition is direct. For this tree, the competition is direct. Because one tree is taking out more water than the rest of them is not getting any water. They are aggressively competing. But in this case, the food source is always there like uh, the same type of food source for cheetah and lion but as lion is getting more cheetah is getting less cheetah is getting more lion is getting less this is indirect kind of competition but this type of competition as this is occurring between two different species we call it interspecific or interspecies uh, not specific let's say interspecies competition okay now after that uh, what are the different mechanisms for competition so as we know the classification of competition now we need to learn the mechanisms mechanisms of competition now in this video I'm going to talk about three mechanisms of competition three type of competition mechanism one type of competition mechanism is interference interference 
interference between two different species. Now, this kind of competition is pretty much aggressive in nature. This is pretty much aggressive in nature and this is also direct type of competition. So, let's say again two trees are planted in the same region. They suppose one tree is getting uh, one tree. So, let's say let me draw this scenario. Let's say this is the situation. Two trees are planted. Now, uh, let's say this red one and green one. Now, let's say red one is having higher ability to take up nutrients from soil uh, and green one is having less uh, ability or less affinity towards the soil nutrients. So, as a result, the red one will grow fast and the green one will grow slow. So, the competition is kind of kind of direct because here this red one is aggressively growing and it is suppressing the growth of the nearby plant. So, this type of competition is among the interference type. Now, let's say the second type of competition. Now, the second type it could be uh, it could be uh, apparent type of competition or it could be uh, so let me write it apparent apparent competition. So, what do we mean by apparent type? Apparent type of competition means there is uh, say uh, or, or depletion type is also there. So, let me let me write it. Uh, so, let's say another third type is depletion competition okay now i should talk about depletion first then apparent so in the second case if you talk about the depletion type of competition uh, and in this case of depletion type of competition what we know is that there should be depletion of a resource okay so depletion of resource so resource means there will be definitely a resource under the resource there can be food let me write, there can be food, water, uh, habitat, energy. So, these things can be a part of the resource and there can be a competition for this kind of resources. Okay. So, let us say uh, the individual or the organism, the sharing the common habit, common food or common water or common habitat for energy. In that case, there must be a competition between them, right? Because I've told you, remember, then any kind for competition must occur if there is a sharing of common common region, right? So there will be a competition for that. Now, in apparent type, it, in apparent kind of competition, this competition is not direct. Okay, usually the depletion type of competition occurs between, let me write, between populations and between community or at the community level also. Okay, now apparent type of competition that we call, this is a kind of indirect, indirect competition. Like the example I have already talked about, the cheetah and lion, right? Because this is not direct kind of competition. Let's say, let's say species A. So let me let me talk about let's say this way, species A, and let's say species B. Both of the species are there, and both of them are prey. For example, both of them are prey. Both of them, species A and B, and they are prey. And the predator for both species A and species B. Is, so, the predator here is species X, for example. So, species X can feed on to species A, species X can feed on to species B. So, in both the case, species A and B can be killed by species X, right? So, if the species A concentration is more, or let's say if this predator X kills more species A, Species, we try to understand, if the predator species X kill the species A, then there is a more chance of the survivability of species B. And if species X is killing more species B, then there is a higher chance of survivability of species A. So, they are not directly competing, but due to the habit that both of them are prey of a same species, sorry, same predator species, that's why, both of them are competing indirectly. 
and that's called apparent type of competition right so it can be interference type it can be apparent type or it can be depletion type of competition we can see these are the mechanisms now another thing i must tell you before uh, concluding that is in in any kind of competition for the competition to occur there must be a common sharing of some resource and there must be a common interaction between the, this because competition is nothing but a type of interaction in ecology because in ecology there are many ingredients of ecosystem like biotic factors abiotic factors there can be competition between them between the biotic factors there are organisms and they can interact with them positively negatively in many ways competition is kind of uh, one on one type of fighting situation and competition is telling us only one particular type of species between two which are involved in competition will be survived at a particular resource at a particular condition that's what uh, is a principle called competitive exclusion principle it is telling us no two species can exist in the same niche or same ecological niche or same functional area in ecosystem right and obviously it is also telling us that there is no complete competition because if there is a complete competition one in one particular species is going to win who is a heading of the race of evolution another species will lose and that will die at this particular point okay so in competition one should be the winner one should be loser otherwise no competition exists in both benefits condition okay okay so that's uh, the thing i want to tell and i hope that's helpful thank you